There's been a new steel that's developed that uh, we're all really excited about called MagnaCut, CPM MagnaCut. Um, MagnaCut is a new type of stainless steel. It's exciting because it's not just a variation of stainless steels that have been done in the past, but it's an actual new approach to making a stainless alloy. And it's, it's exciting to my company because it gets very good corrosion resistance with a minimal amount of chromium, and it shows very good um, tendency for good edge stability and durability and rough use that you don't normally think of in a stainless steel. So we've been working on a heat treat for it. Um, the heat treat that are in the data sheets are actually pretty good. Um, not, a, not a lot of room for improvement there, but we, we have made some tweaks to it and we, uh, we have got a little bit more, uh, more uh, squeeze a little bit more juice out of it. We're excited about that. So um, I'm doing a demonstration video today. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of, uh, of some simple carbon steels and this is a uh, more typical of, of uh, like a like your old school stain or old school pre stainless steels and and steels that aren't you know um, encumbered with the need for corrosion resistance so they they tend to have a little bit better durability and st edge stability uh, this guy this is an old one uh, fj uh, richtig or reichtig mark how do you pronounce that reichtig Reichstig. This guy had a following for making these knives that would cut through iron, cut through nails. So um, you may have heard of him. Um, if not, you know, go ahead and Google it and see if you can learn about these guys. But we're going to run one of these through here. I've not done this before. Um, we have a, a good production knife. Um, the hardness on this one was 60 or 61. Uh, relatively simple carbon steel, but these guys do a good job with the heat treat. So this will be a really good standard to look at. Um, this is not really a mass-produced knife, but uh, it's one of my favorites. These guys just do a fantastic job. They've got a really good steel, a really good heat treat, and uh, this is going to be a good um, um, example to see, like, you know, kind of upper end of what you would hope to see in one of these durability or abuse videos. We have uh, one of my MagnaCut samples that's already been run through the ringer. Uh, this was with one of the industry standard heat treats with a tweak to it to just add a little bit more soak time. Uh, we found that it was a, maybe a, um, uh, needed a little bit, little bit more soak than prescribed. So this is a good performer. I've already run this through, so this is this has seen some war, but we've we've resharpened it, and we're going to use areas that haven't been abused. And then we have um, my two, hopefully final. Uh, we've been working on this, <laughs> working on this heat treat for a while, and uh, these are these knives have not been run yet, but uh, they're. They're a, a repeat of my best, uh, of, of the best that we got, and so we're just doing a, we're validating it, and uh, you know, just, just confirming that we've got, you know, good repeatability. So, uh, when we're doing heat treat development, there's a lot more to it than just cutting nails, but this is the dramatic part that everybody loves to see. So we're going to cut some nails. Um, this, uh, this isn't looking at edge retention or abrasion resistance in the sense of normal use, but I have found that if a knife doesn't show a lot of damage cutting a nail, um, then if you clank it against your beer bottle when you're opening a case of beer or you hit a staple in a piece of wood or other things that damage an edge that are not abrasive in nature, uh, if you're rough with your knives like I am, um, this is a really good um, um, you know, substitute for you know, clanking a you know, beer bottle or whatever. So th if they cut this, it's going to hold up in your rough use. So um, without further ado. Uh, let's look at this Reichstig. How do you pronounce that, Mark? Reichstig. <laughs> so, let's see what all the let's see what all the fuss is about. Uh, this guy, he uh, he made a name for himself doing this kind of thing. So I'm excited to see what this is going to do. Oof, to me. All right, that's 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 pretty bad. But you know what? I got a couple wonky hits in there. That might be my fault. Let me uh, let me just try that again because I was I was expecting a lot better than that. Yeah, so that's I mean that's that's not great, but that's that's pretty typical. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, every knife here is sharpened at 18 degrees per side. They're all identical geometry at the edge. Now some of them are very thick behind the edge. But, um, and, you know, that's not ideal for testing purposes, but all of these are 18 degrees per side. And uh, that's, you know, that's, that's not fantastic. I, I, I'm, it is what it is. High quality, not particularly expensive production knife and a simple, uh, simple carbon steel, non-stainless. This is usually pretty good. All right, 
we got a little dent there, but again, this is 18 degrees per side, so let's not let's not get too excited about that. That's that's not bad. All right. This knife, these are good, and this is really not even its claim to fame. I mean, they're they're they hold up with you know the edge retention is good, but they're also unbreakable. So this is this is a this is not uh, the only thing this knife does well, but let's let's see what this girl can do. All right, we got a little dent right there, very minimal damage. Sometimes in the videos, the the knife will be smeared on the edge bevel, and it will look like edge damage. So we'll take a picture after the video, so you can really see, you know, a, a get a good picture of that. So that's 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 pretty nice. I, I really like this. Magna cut with one of the uh, prescribed heat treats. Um, I'm going to cut it out here. You okay there, Mark? I'm fine. That's why I have glasses on. All right. Now, if you look at it, you can see we've got a little dent right there. That is really strong performance for a stainless steel. Um, like this is hanging with these really good carbon steels better than most almost as good as the, the the best that is really good edge stability going through a nail like that so I'm, I'm really impressed with this steel I saw this earlier and I was like holy smokes we're gonna have something I have two here they're variations of the same heat treat I like to have a harder version for smaller knives and a softer version for larger knives but so these are the two that I'm probably going to adopt And look at that all right you're gonna see some nail smeared off on the bevel here or on the grind I mean but almost almost no damage at all we'll, we'll get a picture of that after the video so you can get a, a clearer shot of that compared to the others got a dent because I maybe ran through it a little crooked but um, again very like this this right here is where the nail is smeared off on it so we'll get a photograph of that um, and compare it to the other ones but again very little damage for a stainless steel at this narrow of a geometry um, I'm gonna say that uh, that held up just as well as these simple steels um, and maybe even a little better we'll, we'll take a picture and zoom in and we'll be able to look at that a little bit more closely but um this these guys the, the optimized versions versus the uh, the pre-prescribed version it's a little better like we're not it's not head and shoulders like this is good this is a good performer especially for a stainless steel but uh, this is this is a little better and so we're going to be uh, we're going to be selling a, a what I hope is uh, perhaps the uh, if not the best magna cut in the industry um, um, in my opinion there's going to be none better I almost forgot. <laughs> let's uh, let's cut some bolts with this. All right. So this is not a thick knife, and this is a narrower edge angle than we would normally run. But we are going to just for grins and giggles, we're going to cut cut a, a quarter twenty bolt. Um, in some respects, this is not as difficult as the nail because the nail is cold drawn wire. It's work hardened, and this is just a grade two bolt from Tractor Supply. It's not a it's not particularly hard, but it is a quarter of an inch in diameter and it's steel. So we're going to cut this and just see what we get. Yeah, we got a blowout. And you know, again, this is this is not one of the high toughness steels. Um, there are, you know, some of the other higher toughness steels would be able to do that without a blowout. But um, you know we're looking at the failure mode, and it didn't uh, you know it didn't it didn't break the knife. Yeah, 
and we got a chip. So this is a knife that will stay sharp in rough use until you start cutting bolts with it. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you want to go with one of my other offerings if you're cutting a lot of bolts. But short of that, I think most people are going to be well served with this new alloy. And you know, we, uh, we decided just for fun, um, if you do need to cut bolts, and you probably don't, uh, we make knives out of CPM3V with the Delta Optimized Heat Treat Protocol that will actually cut a bolt and be just fine. So we're just gonna, we're gonna cut a bolt here just, uh, just for fun. Zoom in on that. That's uh, that's not edge damage. That's just shiny where the where the bolt ran onto it. So the Delta 3V is, I mean, if if you need something that's not going to take any damage, this is this is essentially un, unharmed. Just for fun, another demonstration of the, of the Delta 3V that we developed, the heat treat that our company uses. Um, we're gonna just we're gonna cut a chain. This is a 3 8 link. I think it's 3 8 Might be 5 16th. It's either 3 8 or 5 16th steel chain. And we're gonna just we're gonna cut a link off of that, just for fun. I don't recommend you do this, but. Uh, Somebody was saying on the internet the other day that it wasn't possible to cut a chain with a knife without ruining the knife. Let's just see what happens. It's going to take a few hits because this is thick. Took a little more damage than cutting the bolt, but there's nothing that went up above the edge that'll sharpen up. It's a little out of focus. Maybe we'll get a better shot for you all.